Cognos Analytics can help you find and prepare data for reports and dashboards. Cognos can act as your co-pilot when searching for data to drive your analysis. In this video, you'll see how Cognos Analytics searches for data sources and suggests candidates for your data module. The Coffee Sales zip file from the IBM Accelerator catalog is used in this video. You can find it by searching for small coffee chain sales. You can engage with Cognos Analytics when creating a data module where Cognos will use natural language processing and AI-based functionality to guide you to find the tables that best meet your needs. Starting on the home screen, you can start your data module creation two ways, either by selecting the open menu and then new and data module or prepare data. Two choices are presented to me. If I know my data set, I could use the select tables. From here, I can start to select the tables I want. If I'm not sure what's in a particular table, I can always expand it and see the columns. But if the data set is new to me, using the discover related tables makes sense. The data source in this case is just the coffee sales zip file. The data source has been analyzed by Cognos Analytics and keywords have been pulled out. The size of the keyword and the font used is an indication of its importance. At this point, I could click on a keyword and it would be added to the search line on the top. I could also type a keyword and it would be highlighted. And I could type a question. When I press enter, a proposed data module is created for me based on the search. These are the related tables that Cognos Analytics has suggested based on my question, what beverages do customers drink? If I expand advanced, I can see that I have two additional proposals. And if I select that, I can see tables are added. When I click OK, I accept the proposal and my data module is created. If I wanted to add new sources, I would click the plus sign. If I add new sources, that's new data sources that I'm adding. And if I click add more tables, this is staying within the coffee sales uh, file that I use. And I can see tables that weren't included in the proposal and I could select those and they would get added to my data module. I could also go back into the discover related tables and use that function as well. That completes the video on how to discover related tables when creating a data module. You've seen how natural language processing and AI based functionality built into Cognos can act as your co-pilot while you're defining the data that you need to drive your analysis. Documentation for IBM Cognos Analytics with Watson is available online. The video description below contains links for topics covered in this video. If you would like to try what was demonstrated in this video, you will find the data in the samples folder in Team Content.